guys so i just wanted to come on really quick and do just a quick tutorial um on the baseball cookies because i did it in my cookie decorating group and i forgot to um to make a oh i forgot to save a cookie for <laughs> like to actually uh do a tutorial on so i'm just going around ooh, going around with my outline uh this outline is way thicker than usual um mostly because i ran out of icing and had to cut my tip like my small tip bag so i'm just filling this in i'm gonna bring it to the edges because i want it to be seamless uh like i'm trying to get the edge to disappear so we're gonna go around and around we don't want it to uh, probably have to go around Ooh, and i don't want it to go over the edges Ugh. okay so i came in and fixed it really quick um because i did not want it going over the edge okay so now we're gonna let this dry for about i would say like mm, maybe five minutes and if you were working on a full set of cookies obviously you'd flood all of them and then by the time you're done like let's say you're doing a dozen cookies right so it's like flooded and you're done and you're able to now go because this will crust over and all you want is like a thin crust like a you know like it just to barely crust over for you to start doing your red lines and then um we'll go in and do the lines so we'll time lapse this real quick and then um go in and go over with the red uh stitching for the ball okay so now once that is dry we can go in with and this is a thick royal ice and we see if we can kind of see the consistency so like it's you know thicker obviously much thicker than my flooding icing um but still thin enough where like when you overlap it's going to go into each other because as we're doing the stitching right so let me do like a practice stitch so we're going to go like rounded right and then you're going to go and you want these to kind of blend together okay so now we're gonna go over and round it off oh, there we go. okay and then uh, I gotta remember which goes which so this is gonna go down and you're just making little V's touching on and going And some people make it uh, like more, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of how to say that, uh, add more stitches. Um, so you could do more or less, you know, whatever look you kind of want to go with. Just kind of, there we go. All right, and then on the other side. And also just so you, just to know, this is actually smaller than my other cookies. I'm just making this one as an example one. Um, I grabbed the wrong cookie cutter. <laughs> uh, so this was actually just like simply for doing this tutorial for everybody. Uh, Cause again, I went live in my cookie group and then I just completely forgot to save a cookie. We're doing one for YouTube. There we are. There you have it. Um, and then you just let that dry. And these colors will not bleed as long as you don't allow the white to dry completely. If you allow the white to dry completely, what is going to happen is the red as it's drying, it's not going to have anywhere to go. Um, so don't ask me the exact science on how that works. Um, but basically this will allow the red to sit on top of the white and not bleed into the color. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and I'll get this posted up today. Take care.